Hello and welcome to Complete Games and this is the story of the Complete Crew. It's all come down to this. Over the last couple of weeks, the Complete Crew has been working together to complete the final test, the Tech Cave. Having completed both Gamma and Beta Overseer, the Complete Crew take on the island's final trial, the Alpha Tech Cave. Things get off to a slightly shaky start, with tribe mate Jaybird getting stuck in the entrance before any of the members have been able to enter the cave, and it's imperative that we sort out this jam as quickly as possible. The tech cave door is only open for five minutes, and we need to get as many dinos through this door as quickly as possible. The complete crew is using both T-Rexes and Thenos to enter the tech cave with, these are the same creatures that we've been facing the island's ultimate bosses with, and hopefully we have everything we need to face the Overseer. The complete crew has got the tactics down to a fine art, and it's imperative that the members at the front clear the way so that the members at the back can slowly make their way down the tech cave. Despite the hiccup at the start of getting into the cave, all members are able to enter unhindered, and it's the job of the tribe members at the front to clear the way for the rest of the train to make its way down the tech cave. Tribe mate Shiny comes in from the rear to back up the front crew, and of course she's not leading any dinosaurs, so she runs in to help out at the front. Everything seems to be going to plan, and the crew continue down the winding path. The complete crew reaches its first waypoint at the bottom of the cave. There's also a good sniper position, and sometimes you are able to spot a Giga and perhaps kite it into the lava. Perhaps the most awkward thing about completing the tech cave is often the Gigas that can spawn here. And the last thing you want is to lose any of your creatures before the fight ends. And it is on this run that we actually run into our first Giga. It's of course small steps to add up to complete the big journey. Tribe mate Romeo successfully manages to get a shot on the Giga and kites it into the lava, dispatching our first Giga without any trouble. So we continue on down the path, making good time. But it's here that we run into our first obstacle. The second Giga in the tech cave has spawned in a very awkward position, just above the bridge. To make sure that we save our creatures, the complete crew makes a backup, and we turn round so we can get away from the front of the pack. The last thing the complete crew wants to do is battle the Giga in an awkward place. As always, it's a case of bring the fight to us. It's just then that tribe mate Vexing Cat makes a serious misjudgment. Rather than coming round the outside with the rest of the crew, she tried to turn in an awkward place, and her T-Rex falls into the lava. It's here that I decide to dismount my T-Rex and jump off to see if I can assist in whistling and perhaps saving any of the creatures that have fallen into the lava. The T-Rex is rescued and we need to get out the Ferrazinos, but it's at this moment that I trigger the Parlovia. It's quite unfortunate that I didn't see this one earlier and of course it costs the tribe dearly. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. Ah, ah, ah. There's a pile over you there. <laughs> oh, dear. A new day and a new mindset. No matter how strong our resolve, sometimes we all get frustrated and want to give up. Whether that happens at work, training for a big race or even in a relationship, there are times when you most need encouragement. But we must persist, and our character consists of not what we do on our first try, but it's our third and fourth tries. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. Once again, the complete crew enters the tech cave on alpha mode, this time attempting to complete the tech cave with the members that haven't ascended from the island map which would include myself this time round. We managed to enter the tech cave largely without any hiccups, but this time around the Giga spawns in a completely different place. These next shots come from tribe member Achilles. On our beta run he sacrificed himself from the team and we all learned a new tactic. Gee, go for it mate. Achilles, yes, 
I love you. <laughs> Go for it. Oh my god. Go One for the team. Go for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> run, run, run. Run right off the cliff. Huh? Run off the cliff, he'll probably go into lava. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can just head down to the next part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get through. He can't, he oh, can't follow oh, you through oh, the... Oh, oh, oh. He just pushed me to the lava. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No See oh. if you can swim out. Swim out toward the gate down there. Okay. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. I'm stuck. You can make... Oh my god. Oh. A big shout out to Tribe Mate Achilles for sharing his screen. He took one for the team on the Beta Tech Cave run, but this time the tribe has a different method, and we've brought in some sacrificial lambs. Once again, we'll cut back to Achilles, and we've got some Megatheriums to do just the job. Instead of sacrificing one of the members of the team, we've brought in a sacrificial creature. Uh. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yes. A bit more, oh. a bit more. Yeah. Almost. Hey, what? There <laughs> we go. There we go. Oh, look at that, guys. That's amazing. Oh, God. Sacrificial yeah. lambs. <laughs> the tactic worked perfectly, and the Giga falls for it and follows our Megatherium into the lava. So we continue on down to the Tech Cave Gate with plenty of time remaining. We make it to the last corner and the last hurdle. Everything seems to be going according to plan, but unfortunately, somehow an Allosaurus managed to jump back up and kite Tribe Mate Jaybird's T-Rex into the lava. It'd be a great shame if Tribe Mate Jaybird loses his favorite T-Rex, so we do everything we can to stop it from melting in the lava. Fortunately, his T-Rex is strong enough. It may not be able to fight the Overseer and we'll have to pod it up for the main fight. But we are able to save it and we all enter the tech cave. Different tactics need to be used in order to complete this. In my solo run, it's all very well to be able to use an otter to be able to stave off the ice cold. But this time round, each creature counts for something. And if each member of the tribe was to try and take in an otter to stave off the cold, then we would only have 10 creatures left to fight the overseer. This is why all tribe members are using fire curries, and we've all brought in good fur armor to stave off the cold to make sure that we've not got that debuff during the fight. So it's all come down to this, the tribe's hard work, and we're at the final hurdle. The Overseer is the final boss on the island map. It summons minions in the form of attack drones and defense units, and these units will drop some element on the ground. It changes forms periodically during the fight, representing all of the Ark's guardians from the Megapificus, Broodmother, and the Dragon. Its appearance is reminiscent of the specimen implant, having characteristics of the shapes of its diamond, and it transforms into each of the Guardians. According to the law of Ark, the AI of the Overseer experiments with the survivors on the station, and it ultimately decides who can continue and ascend to a higher evolutionary chain, and who will be terminated. It tends to all life on the Ark until the signal calls it down to Earth to terraform Earth back to normal. The complete crew is more than a match for the Overseer, and we end up completing the Ark. Right now I'm going to put all of the names of the members who managed to see it all through to the end. Each one can take pride in the fact that we managed to do this largely without any mods. For those of you who are wondering, we only took a stack mod and the spyglass mod. We also used a role playing storage mod where we're going to consider dropping these mods for our next mission. Should all of the members reassemble, we will continue on to Scorched Earth and complete all of these maps individually. A huge thank you to all of the tribe members that managed to see this through to the end. It's been good fun revisiting the island map and completing the game in a different way. Working together as a tribe is how the game was initially intended to be completed. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of the names scrolling up the screen right now. 
These are the members of the complete crew who managed to ascend from the island map. Of course, quite a few more members started, but only these members managed to make it in the end. You managed to complete the game largely in a way that it was intended. I'll finish by saying it's been great fun to complete this as a team. And of course, Ark Survival Evolved was always intended to be a team-based game. And I think it's appropriate that the final thing we do is leave you with the final cutscene of our ascension. So until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.